I'm Tian, and this is Jamie, and uh, we work for a, we're co-founders of the Edge at Turk group. Turk is a not-for-profit STEM education company here in Cambridge, Massachusetts, um, and Edge focuses on the use of digital tools such as games and AR for education. We wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the projects that we're doing, just do a brief overview of some of the projects that we're working on, as, as well as share some of our um, ideas on the potential role of AR in STEM education. So take a look at this quote about science from former President Obama. It's important for a variety of reasons, but today we're going to focus on one word that he repeats several times. World. As he puts it, science is about uh, appro an approach to the world, a way of understanding, exploring, engaging with, and even changing the world. Now let's turn to another related repeated word. Reality. Whether we're talking about AR, MR, VR, XR, or whatever R, the R stands for reality. This pairing is one of the reasons why we're so um, passionate about the role of XR in education. This merging of the digital with the real world is very important in, 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 in science education, especially as it relates to science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM. Uh, with this in mind, um, we are looking at the potential for XR to be transformative for STEM and for STEAM, adding in the letter A for art. Um, in any case, we want to be emphasizing the importance of reality. It's fundamental to what uh, STEM learning is all about. We're currently focusing our efforts on several projects. One is an AR exploration where we're um, working with PTC on creating um, AR posters for the classroom uh, and curriculum. We're also working on a VR astrobiology uh, proof of concept game called Mission to Europa Prime. And we're working on our Stimlandia project, which is using uh, investigating AR and XR uh, technologies to open the door and get kids outside to reconnect them with nature. So as Jamie just mentioned, we're working with PTC, the soft global software company, to develop a series of AR experiences and related curriculum for deployment in K-12 classrooms. The idea is threefold. First, to be creating really powerful and important AR experiences with a par by, via a partnership with industry. The second is to make sure that those AR experiences are taking a advantage of the affordances of AR. Um, it's difficult to be uh, bringing AR into the classroom. And whatever you bring in has to be worth all the hassles, especially of time, effort, and money to make that expenditure worthwhile. And finally, we're not only embracing, but we're um, really tapping into the role of the teachers in bridging between what's possible with the AR and what makes that meaningful in the classroom and in the world. Furthermore, we think AR is STEAM. We feel we're looking at ways to engage learners in the middle school and high school in the whole process of creating AR. This gets students involved in the process, gets them involved as creators, not just consumers, which we think is very important. Mission to Europa Prime is a VR proof of concept. It is engaging students in uh, a, an exploration of Europa, one of the moons of Jupiter. It's inspired by our work on several NSF-funded science education projects, including a high school astrobiology curriculum and Martian Boneyards, a science inquiry uh, MMO game. Um, Players are exploring an abandoned science center on Europa, and they're diving beneath the ice to explore hydrothermal vents there using an ROV, modeled after the t those same types of explorations events here on Earth. Uh, one of the real values of VR for education 
is that it can take people to places they couldn't otherwise explore and immerse them in experiences they couldn't otherwise have, but which can relate them to the explorations of the world here. A little closer to home, our Stimlandia project is looking at how we can use XR tools as a lever to get students and learners outside to engage with nature. One project we're working on is 360 annotated stills. Um, although the technology we're using is, is, is uh, relatively simple to use, we think it's very important to get kids engaged in the storytelling process that's part of the XR development. This is an image from a workshop that we did with uh, Globe Learning Expedition in Ireland this, this last year, where we worked with educators to talk to them about XR and education. GLOBE is an international program that works with uh, students and educators and the public to use um, citizen science to engage them in learning about the environment and the Earth system. Um, as well as working with the educators, we also used a tool called ThingLink where we had four students from four different countries work to create this annotated story about what they learned as a part of the expedition and then share that with GLOBE students in classrooms all over the country. We feel like sharing these citizen science lessons through a story goes a long way with explaining data and the importance of some of this data to the world. A step beyond that, we're also using a new cloud-based VR editor to be creating STEM stories using 360 interactive video. Pixvana, a software startup that's creating an XR delivery platform, uh, is offering us their software and their expertise to be working with two youth programs in Seattle, uh, Real Girls and Art Corps. Using Spin Studio, um, Pixvana's uh, VR editing to software, they are able to create their own STEM stories about their own local environment. We feel like getting this tool into the hands of students that are underrepresented and from diverse communities gives them the power to tell stories and to learn about XR tools that can teach them about careers in the future. We're also working with a company, uh, Groundspeak, in Seattle to create geocaching STEM experiences that, are, that are, include AR experiences. This builds on some work that we did uh, in an early geocaching adventure where we tied geocaching locations to STEM that you can find outside your door. We feel that uh, ground speak and geocaching is a technology that's very effective at getting learners out into the environment and learning about it and connecting STEM experiences with it is very powerful, and we feel that connecting AR will make it an even a more powerful experience. This has just been a really short overview of some of the projects that we're working on. We hope that you can seek us out after this session, um, talk to us about the work in more depth, and then we can also, we'd also like to talk to you about ways that we might work together in the future. Yeah. Um, as a final thought, consider this quote from Dewey. Uh, XR allows us to immerse ourselves in experiences that Dewey just could never have imagined. And therefore, we as educators feel it's our responsibility to be creating the best experiences we can. Uh, and we challenge all of you, whether you're educators or not, to also be creating your best and to th be thinking about the potential impacts, the transformative impacts this can have on the world around us all. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie and Tian.